I think we got it working. Does it work? Let me know. Shout out to everybody in the chat. I think we got to work it work in. It says it's working. All right. I hear myself in the other device. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen. Okay. It's working. We're, we, gonna get, we, get, we just got to get started. Okay. For whatever reason, they're trying to hold us back from going live. I don't know why. What is it? What is it, devil? <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the chat. Okay. We got to hit the ground running today because for those that don't know, the series is tonight on Oxygen True Crime. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing it tomorrow. So we'll talk about this uh, interview that this doctor did. Okay. There's so much going on online right now. So there's so much that I have to catch up on as well. Uh, so I'm a little late, but this this review of this has been very important to me um, to talk about this case specifically and everything that's happening. So I do apologize. I'll make sure I edit the beginning of this for those that are now coming in because clearly, you know, it, the sound wasn't working. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you much for letting everybody know the sound. Technical difficulties. We got the technical part figured out. There'll probably be difficulties later. <laughs> Win, thank you for gifting. Oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> YT won't let you say about what you want to say about Yolanda. Lord have mercy. Okay. Let's get it together. Let's bring it back. Welcome everybody. And if you got a gift from Wim, drop a heart in the chat. Thank you so much, Wim. Uh, Chico, on the first, you got to remind me. I don't care if you sound like a broken record. Remind me to give gifts as a creator because I didn't know that I could do that. But I, yeah, thanks for fixing the audio. Well, thank you, John, for the $10. Appreciate it. Thank you for the $10 and thank you for allowing me to fix the audio. Shout out to you. Thank you. All right. We got a lot to go through. Okay. The show is tonight. I'm going to be watching it. I'll review it tomorrow with you guys. So we're going to go back. We're going to go back in time, 1995, 1996. Well, this specific interview was in 2011, I think. If I remember correctly, the time frame, I don't have to look back in there. But this is a very important interview that I think is going to come about as we continue to talk about the murder of Yolanda, uh, excuse me, the murder of Selena and Yolanda being the perpetrator, right? So many of you guys left me comments that the theme of the comments was something to the effect of, Rabbit, this was a, a sacrifice. I said, I don't know if I believe that. And I still don't think I believe that whatsoever. But you guys are entitled to your opinion, and I respect it, and the comments will be left there. Um, other comments were towards your uh, Selena's dad, which, you know, historically, I think people, and even Selena's dad, Abraham Kitania, has very much accepted the fact that he has, he's got a certain personality about him, that he was very, uh, strong will with his children uh that he you know built this ban with his children at the expense of maybe education at the expense of different things that they gave up as a family um he was very much opposed to the wedding of of selena and chris when they got married selena was 21 when she eloped with chris right she wasn't a little girl right but i think this is an important aspect of bringing this up so you think so, Danielle? See, and a lot of people have said that. You said, oh, but I'm just hiding something from his path. People have said that y'all are entitled to your opinions. I ain't, I am of the belief that I don't think he would do anything. I think that this was, he is the victim just as much as his wife. That's just my belief, though. But everybody's got different beliefs. Thank you so much. And Chico just gave the 10 memberships. All right. Thank you, Chico. You guys drop a heart in the chat if you got a membership from Chico. Thank you, Chico. Okay. This is a very important, important interview because this doctor by the name of Dr. Ricardo Martinez, there was rumors that Selena had had a love affair with this doctor. This doctor, it took him, I don't know how many years after Selena's death to be interviewed. I speculate that he was paid for this interview um, because he doesn't show receipts for this supposed love affair that he had. It took him so many years to come out. And there are so many varying factors that don't quite make sense in terms of like, would Selena have an affair with this man? 
The man was 53 years old at the time. Selena was 23. He had three children. Um, there was a lot that doesn't quite make sense in this whole story and saga. And it still doesn't. So she meets this guy at a concert in 1994 in Monterrey, Mexico. He brings his two daughters into the concert. They're, they're having this concert, right? To like for autographs and whatnot. And this is where, you know, they meet. So the interview is in Spanish, but I'm going to translate it in English as best as I can. I do, uh, I was able to mess with the closed captions to add them in, which will be helpful because, like I said, dialects are very different. Um, and it, you know, if I say something wrong, I'm able to make reference to that. But let's watch it, okay? Let's watch it. Corría el mes de noviembre de 1994 y Selena se estaba presentando en el estadio de béisbol de Monterrey. So it was 1994, November of 1994, and Selena was having a concert in Monterrey, Mexico, in one of the stadiums. Entre los miles de fans que fueron a ver su concierto se encontraban el doctor Ricardo Martínez y sus dos hijas. Out of all the fans that went out there to see the concert, you would find Dr. Martinez and his two daughters. Yo la verdad no había tenido la oportunidad de verla, ni la había visto, ni la había escuchado, su música. Honestly, I've never had the opportunity to meet her, see her, never heard of her. Chica me impactó, me gustó mucho, fue una chica muy carismática, muy profesional. Her music really impacted. I really liked it a lot. She was a charismatic girl, very professional. Al finalizar el concierto, fueron a su camerino, pues sus hijas querían conseguir un autógrafo de la estrella. At when the, the concert finalized, after the concert was over in Monterrey, Mexico, the doctor and the two daughters went into Selena's trailer to ask for an autograph and meet her. La camiseta con su nombre y lo demás. Entonces, me, me, y me ve a mí, me volteé y me dice, ¿y tú no quieres un autógrafo? Entonces dije yo, lo que pasa es que yo no traigo camiseta. Y digo, pero si quieres ponmelo en el, en el pantalón, ¿no? En el jeans. Y me volteé. And so then he brings his two daughters there to essentially meet him, and she's giving autographs to his two daughters. And Selena looks at him, and this is his version of events. Selena looks at him and says, you, you don't want an autograph? And he's like, well, I don't really have a shirt, but you could put it on, on my jeans, on my pants. Volteo y me dice, ponmelo aquí, le digo, y me, ella sabe, claro que saco un crayón con el que estaba marcando la, haciendo los, los actógrafos y me, me pone ahí en un lado de la, de la bolsa de, del pantalón, me pone su, su actógrafo. So, right, so she grabs this crayon marker and she puts her autograph right on the side of my pant pocket jeans. Así fue como se conocieron. Días después, según recuerda el doctor, Selena le pidió una cita pues estaba interesada en hacerse un procedimiento estético. So days later, this is how this is how the doctor remembers it. Days later, Selena reaches out to Dr. Martinez and because she was interested in doing a cosmetic procedure. Dr. Martinez is a plastic surgeon well known in Monterrey, Mexico. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you guys are going in on these comments. A principios de enero, le hizo una liposucción, aunque según él, no la necesitaba. Around, around uh, the beginning of January, he did a liposuction on Selena, even though she didn't quite need it. Era un cuerpazo, la verdad, era una chica muy agraciada, en físicamente muy, muy guapa. Y los detallitos de la cintura, un poco los muslos. Uh, Todo era pequeño, arreglo, la verdad. Well, she had a great body. Um, she really didn't need anything. What I did was more sculpting. Um, I just did a couple of arrangements around her body, her thighs specifically. En el caso de ella, pues iba a ser como una escultura. El doctor asegura que desde ese momento nació entre los dos una gran atracción. So it was truly just body sculpting. The doctor, this is a voiceover from the uh, reporter, the doctor assures that around that time there was a great attraction that was born between both of them. Como un flash químico ahí, un poco que no se puede definir, 
A él lo cautivó su simpatía y sencillez. Es que te irradiaba alegría por todos lados. Te daba bien. The doctor was just, you know, infatuated and stoked at meeting Selena and then that interaction. They had a chemical, uh, how he would describe um, uh, attraction towards each other after that. She radiated joy, he describes. Mira, a veces ella iba inyectando esa, esa frescura por todos lados. Como todo. She would inject this freshness everywhere that she went. No sabemos, en esa época, Selena estaba casada y llena de compromisos de trabajo. As we know, the reporter says, Selena was married and full of uh, 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 appointments and just booked and ready. Commitments, what's the right word? Él, casado también con tres hijos, era uno de los cirujanos plásticos más reconocidos en la ciudad de Monterrey. He was also married with children and he was a very well-known surgeon in Monterrey, México, full of commitments as well. Sus mundos eran muy diferentes, pero a pesar de eso, dice que nació el amor. El... Their worlds were very different, but regardless, that is, he says, love bloomed, it blossomed. Cree que fue porque le ofreció algo que ella necesitaba. He felt like, he felt like he offered her something that she needed. Yo creo que fue algo como encontrada uh, un poco de madurez en una persona que no estuviera dentro de su entorno y que it was like she found a bit of maturity in a person or in that environment that she needed pudiera ella confiar además in addition to that um, i was somebody that she could trust porque era difícil poder confiar en una persona desconocida ella estaba muy muy controlada en su ambiente te puedo decir It was very hard for her to find somebody to, to trust because she was very controlled in her environment. Sin embargo, los dos encontraban la manera de reunirse. Él siempre que ella podía viajar a Monterrey, cuidaba todos los detalles para no perjudicarla. Regardless, they would find ways to meet up with each other. He would do what he had to do to make sure that, you know, all the details were taken care of when they met. Pocas veces íbamos a salir solos públicamente, ¿no? Si íbamos a un restaurante, pues el lugar donde fuera tenía que pedir algún privado. Aparte, yo, bueno, pues tenía mi equipo de gente que me cuidaba de esa situación y que cuando yo iba a un lugar, pues iba a una avanzada en la que tenía que tener todo eso para que un poco protegerla y protegernos. He would arrange, um, he says, I would arrange Uh, all the details to us meeting to make sure that she wasn't uh, uh, worried or or that people wouldn't follow us. Very rarely, they went out a couple times by themselves, he discloses. He says that he did everything that he could. He had his people to protect her while they were having these secret meetings. Sus pequeñas escapadas a Monterrey las hacía siempre acompañada de Yolanda Saldívar, la presidenta de su club de fans y la amiga en quien Selena confiaba. So, during the time that Selena would leave to Monterrey, México, she would, uh, Yolanda Saldívar would join them. And so, again, her being the fan club president, she was one of the ones that Selena trusted. Desgraciadamente, esta mujer pues aprovechó situaciones en el que ella en, ese, en, el, en esa etapa, en esa época, la necesitaba. So, unfortunately, Yolanda Saldivar would take advantage of situations where Yolanda would uh, need her in that stage, or she would take advantage of what they were have they had going on together in order for for Yolanda to position herself as a person of trust. And let me go back a little bit just so I capture that. A very innocent woman and believed in her friend's loyalty. This is how Selena saw Yolanda. Nunca pudo engañarlo. La fui conociendo. The doctor felt like Yolanda couldn't deceive him. He saw something in Yolanda that just didn't quite make sense. Yolanda Saldívar, la presidenta de su club de fans y la amiga en quien Selena confiaba. Desgraciadamente, esta mujer pues aprovechó situaciones en el que ella en, ese, en, el, en esa etapa, en esa época, la necesitaba.
Según el doctor, Selena era una mujer muy inocente y creía en la lealtad de su amiga. According to the doctor, he felt like Selena was a very innocent woman um, and believed that Yolanda Saldivar was loyal to Selena. Pero a él nunca pudo engañarlo. But he couldn't. He, the, he couldn't trick the doctor. The doctor could see right through Selena. La fui conociendo un poco y veía que era una persona con un alto grado de peligro. Hay un... He says, I started to get to know Yolanda a little bit more, and I noticed that, that Yolanda had a high level of danger. Síndrome que se llama el ángel de la muerte, que digo, está escrito eh, en, en textos eh, psiquiátricos. Que... He says that there is this, this syndrome called the angel of death, and it's written in various psychiatric texts. Es una persona que llega a hacer que su víctima Dependa de ella. The angel of death is a person that makes their victim depend on them solely. Entonces, cuando lo logra, no permite que nadie más esté a su lado. So once this angel of death is able to um, gain all this trust, they don't allow anybody to get close, the victim. They, the angel of death does not allow the victim to get close to anybody. So this is Dr. Martinez describing what he feels is Yolanda's syndrome to a certain degree. A pesar de... Por eso, dice, Yolanda comenzó a entrometerse en su relación y presionar a Selena. Y la verdad... And that's why the doctor says Yolanda started getting in between their relationship and pressuring Selena. En un momento sentía hasta miedo por ella, más que nada porque se hizo necesaria, abusando de que en ese momento había una relación entre Selena y yo. So what the doctor says, you know, there, it's, she was abusing the fact that there was a relationship between Selena and I, um, and he picked up on that. Como bien, yo aquí puedo ser participante de algo, pero hasta dónde va a llegar esto. Pero cuando ella vio que realmente había algo más que eso, había amor, a ella no le gustó. So, do the doctor says, you know, once Yolanda Saliva noted that Selena and I were in love, Yolanda didn't like that. Él dice que Yolanda sintió que la iba a perder y que por eso se valió de artimañas y chantajes para que Selena siguiera a su lado. And this is why the doctor feels that he felt like Yolanda felt that she was going to lose Selena. So she started kind of playing games, tricks, and blackmail to a certain degree so that, he, that she could reel uh, Selena back to her. ¿Cómo pudo meterse en su vida? ¿Cómo pudo meterse en la mía? ¿Cómo puede manipular de tal forma que en un momento dado no se le pudo quitar encima a nadie? How could she have manipulated so many years? How could she have gotten involved in my love, my life, her life? And so much so that nobody could really get rid of her. Se ha dicho mucho sobre la personalidad de Yolanda Saldívar y aunque ha pasado tanto tiempo desde ese trágico 31 de marzo de 1995 en el que le arrebató la vida al artista, uh -huh. nadie ha podido responder, Bárbara, con exactitud cuál fue la verdadera causa que la llevó a cometer el crimen. Así es, Pamela, ni en el juicio ni en las entrevistas que ha dado en los últimos años. So these are just reporters just talking about, and I'll just do a little quick review on that. Um, you know, they're just saying nobody has really been able to assess to what was the cause of Yolanda Saldivar killing Selena. Like, what what had happened? Throughout the years, nothing has ever really been substantiated. For motive. So they're going to commercial. She says, we are coming back and we have new details that are very revealing. Por el asesinato de Selena Quintanilla, acusada de homicidio en primer grado, en solo dos horas el jurado determinó que había cometido el crimen a sangre fría y fue condenada a cadena perpetua. So they give a little update to the case. It only took two hours for the jury to convict Yolanda, the first degree, in life in prison. Pero hasta hoy sigue siendo, como saben, un misterio, el móvil del crimen. Desde un comienzo dijo que había una razón muy poderosa por la que habían discutido Selena y ella y que era un secreto que ella llevaría a la tumba eh, porque jamás iba a traicionar a su hija como ella bien la llamaba. Pero... Wow, really you guys want to... <laughs> Hold on, chicos, says, uh, poll trolls want a, a poll? You guys want a poll? 
I don't know. So she was in love with them, but she was planning a family with Chris. Make it make sense. Right, Vic. None of this makes sense. None of it. So this is his version. This is his version of stuff. I mean, what y'all believe, let me know. The doctor was her father's age. Thank you, Melanie. That's right. He was 53 with three children and Selena was 23, married, booked and busy. I just don't believe it. A poll of what? Is the doctor delusional? All right, then let's do that. Is Dr. Martinez, which, uh, you know, he's hasn't, he's aged. Um, let's see. <laughs> Is the doctor delusional? Delulu, delusional. Yes or no? I'm just going to do yes or no. Okay. All right, go vote. While you're voting, please hit the like button. Please and thank you. You're anxiously waiting for the show? Oh, who? Craft Kids, like, uh, we, I'm waiting for it, too. I got to go uh, see if, I got to see where to get it from, because I know Hulu has the the live version, but there's got to be a, another app or something. Okay, all right. The, <laughs> eat more pieces, like, respectfully, the doctor's a nut. Okay, let's keep reviewing, y'all. Let's keep reviewing, okay? Hold up. Let me know your thoughts in the poll. Pero si se dan cuenta, a través de los años, ella ha ido revelando poco a poco detalles que, que conectan al doctor Martínez con una historia truculenta de, de videos, fugas, abortos y muchísimo más. Por eso, Carlos. So this reporter is saying, if you guys realize, you know, Yolanda has been revealing throughout the years, has been revealing different things that have connected Dr. Richard Marti Ricardo Martinez to this whole picture. She says, you know, she's revealed escapes, abortions, and so much more that Yolanda has done now. She said a lot, but not, not once have I seen a receipt of any of this. Still waiting. From 1995, when she had her first interview, we've been waiting, waiting, waiting. And it's been nothing. So what I want to see in this docu-series is a diary, a tape, and something that's going to give an excuse as to why it was okay to murder Selena at the time. Says abortion, the doctor couldn't save her life. Would have seen that. No, the abort. So Yolanda's lie, one of Yolanda's, one of her many lies, Joyce, was that Yolanda that Selena was pregnant. Now, at the time of her death, Selena had the the implant. I think she had like the the north plant so, some implant device, okay? Um so much so her dad confirmed it too that she had an implant. She wanted to start a family. She had met with her family the day before her murder. She had lunch with her mom and her sister and she talked about I'm going to uh, we want to start a family. That's what she wanted to do. So this whole abortion story, even the doctor here, the one that they interview doesn't even he he says he's like no um she had the implant she couldn't get pregnant so mm. but it was yolanda who said about the abortion that she was pregnant and that came out years later Enfermos a la cárcel donde está recluida yolanda en busca de la verdad veamos mm. so they go and they interview yolanda again by the way and let me just say for the record the autopsy report when they had the trial Selena wasn't pregnant at the time of her death, okay? Keep that in mind. Yo le dije a ella, hasta la muerte, mi hija, yo llevo tu secreto. ¿Qué te voy a decir una cosa? Que si hay un secreto. Y este secreto pasó en Montes. Con Ricardo, donde con Ricardo, la única palabra que yo le cansé oír a ella fue, estoy embarazada. Esa es la discusión que nosotros teníamos. Es que ella pensaba que yo le iba a revelar todo a Cristóbal. So she's saying here, she's like, I, you know, they're they're playing back to the 1995 uh, uh, interview, but also present throughout that time. She says, you know, she was upset with me because I was going to reveal everything to Chris about her being pregnant. I was, right? And she was she was arguing with me, and we were worried about that. Mm. De ese aborto que ella tenía. Los cinco mil dólares que ella tenía era para que yo y ella nos íbamos para Brasil con el doctor Martínez. She says, we had $5,000, and that $5,000, we were going to go to Brazil with the doctor. 
Muchos se han preguntado cuál ha sido el propósito de Yolanda Saldívar de divulgar una historia tan íntima de Selena Quintanilla. Sobre... People have asked what was the purpose of uh, Yolanda trying to divulge such intimate details of Selena. De todo porque parece que quisiera manchar la imagen de quién es hoy una leyenda. Especially because she's trying to tarnish the memory of a legend. Si sus declaraciones fueran verdad, ¿qué logra con eso? Hasta ahora, en las varias entrevistas que le ha dado Univision, hemos visto cómo se ha ido contradiciendo en lo que respecta al crimen. So even if these allegations were true, if anything, what would Yolanda achieve with all of this? So far, we've seen nothing but contradictions. I'm reading the voiceover that the reporter is doing, by the way. Uh, yes, uh, you said I saw it recently on TikTok, someone reading Selena's autopsy. They said that the people say that there was marks on Selena's body in her autopsy to prove that she had surgery, lipo. Yeah, she had had some structured, li I mean, that. I don't think that that's, Selena had a great body regardless, but I mean, she's a celebrity. Who doesn't have plastic surgery or lipo or anything? She says it was an accident. Yo no soy una asesina de sangre fría. La gente así me lo hacen, me han señalado. Dios que los perdone. Cuando una persona. I have translated that piece. This is a newer piece. Una dispara en una pistola. Se le encuentran las las huellas en la pistola. When a person shoots a gun, you find their their DNA, their fingerprints in the gun. Y ha llegado hasta insinuar que pudo ser otra persona quien la matara. Voice over, the reporter says, and she's even insinuated that it could have been another person that killed Selena. No sé. Unas personas dicen que Abraham estaba allí, uh -huh. en cerca del hotel. Hay, 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 un, hay, un, hay un, este, una persona de, que dice que el doctor Martínez estaba alrededor del hotel. Yo no sé si eso es. She says, I don't know. There's some people that say that Abraham Quintanilla was there. And there's some people that also say that uh, uh, Dr. Martinez, Ricardo Martinez, was there as well. Era verdad. Y Cristóbal a dar tres uh, uh, statements, ¿verdad? A la policía. Dijo, uno dijo que estaba dormido. El otro dijo que no, que andaba comprando pescado para su padre. Y el otro dijo que no, que andaba pescando con su padre. And then she mentions Chris. She said, well, Chris, Chris gave three different versions of a statement. One was that he was buying fish for his dad. The other one was that he was fishing with his dad. And then the other one was that he was sleeping. El jurado no le cayó. La familia Quintanilla ha repetido una y otra vez que Yolanda Saldívar miente. Pero ella sigue aferrada a su verdad al grado de afirmar que todo lo que hizo fue para ayudar a Selena. And of course, the jury did not believe her. The voiceover reporter lady says, you know, she has affirmed and claimed that uh, everything that she did that everything that Yolanda Saldivar did was to help Selena. ¿Usted no cree que ir revelando estos detalles, estos secretos, es hasta cierto punto quizás empañar la imagen de Selena? La, la gente que no, no, no quiera saber la vida personal de ella y nomás quieren ver la, la vida de ella que ella fue, le están haciendo una injusticia a ella. The reporter asked, don't you think to a certain degree, um, you know, talking about her, uh, revealing these secrets is tarnishing her memory? And then Yolanda responds, well, to a certain degree, you know, they only, the people only want to see this superstar about her. I mean, they don't really want to see the truth, and that's an injustice for her. Porque ella sufrió mucho. La gente creía que ella estaba muy, muy feliz, muy gustosa, y que vivía una vida de, de, de reina y todo, y, y no era así. Porque... Because she, Selena suffered so much. The people believe that, you know, she was she lived this life of a queen and everything, but truly that's not the case. I mean, she suffered so much. Últimamente, ella, ella sufría. Yo, yo la vi llorar muchas veces. Me, I saw her cry several times. ¿Por qué sufría, Selena? Porque las cosas que ella quería, las decisiones que ella estaba haciendo, no tenía apoyo. Por eso. Why, why was Selena suffering? Because the things that she wanted to do, the things that, that she wanted to do, she had no support. Eso, según Yolanda, Selena iba a fugarse con el Dr. Martínez a Brasil y asegura que era él quien la estaba chantajeando. According to Yolanda, Selena was going to run away to Brazil with Dr. Martínez. And she was, Yolanda was helping her. Estaba presionada porque el Dr. Martínez le dijo, oye, ¿te vienes conmigo para Brasil? 
o oh, lo suelto la lengua. Yolanda says, you know, she was pressured because Dr. Martinez told her, you either come with me to Brazil or I'll tell everybody. ¿Qué podía decir el Dr. Martinez? De su um, embarazo, podía decir de los niños, podía decir Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Relación. I mean, Selena tenía una imagen de ser una persona que las chicas podían ver. Ella necesitaba sostener eso. Un escándalo así lo hubiera destruido. Eh, eh. Más escandaloso. All right, hold up one minute because I lost my space right over here. De su um, embarazo, podría decir, de los videos. Podría decir. Okay, so... The reporter asked her, what could she have blackmailed her? What could Dr. Martinez have blackmailed Yolanda about, or Selena about? What could Dr. Martinez blackmail Selena about? Yolanda responds, about pregnancies. Um, Dr. Martinez le dijo, oye, ¿te vienes conmigo para así? O lo suelto la lengua. ¿Qué podía decir el Dr. Martinez? De su um, embarazo. Podía decir, of her pregnancy. Decir, de los videos. Podía decir, he could say about the videos. Decir, su relación. He could say about the relationship. I mean, Selena tenía una imagen de ser una persona que las chicas podían ver. Selena had this image of a person that that people could look up to. Y necesitaba sostener eso. Un escándalo así lo hubiera destruido. Eh, she had to sustain that. A scandal like that could have destroyed Selena. Más escandaloso aún, habría sido que saliera a la luz pública el famoso video que Yolanda Saldívar dice tener en su poder en un banco en México. More scandalous, this is the voiceover from the reporter, more scandalous would have been this tape, this videotape that Yolanda claims is at a bank in Mexico. Ahora bien, vamos a hablar del video comprometedor. Muchos piensan eh, que era usted la que estaba chantajeando a Selena con este video. Pues esos videos... So the reporter says, okay, let's talk about this, this tape, right? Many believe that you were blackmailing Selena about this tape. Yolanda responds. The, the tape exists, but I'm not going to reveal this right now. This is one thing that if it's revealed, they're going to criticize. I, I rather not, 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 I would rather not do that. Who, who recorded that supposed tape? I believe that it was the chauffeur or Roberto. Ricardo or Roberto. Or it was the doctor. Yo creo. To try to be blackmail, perhaps? I believe so. Para mí, era una manera de decirle, mira, te vas conmigo o te destruyo tu carrera. Yes, for me, it was a way to tell her, you either go with me or I destroy your career. ¿Por qué lo tiene usted? Pues no lo tengo yo, yo solo diría ella. So why do you have the tape? Well, I don't have it. I gave it to her. Ella lo vio. She saw it. Ella estaba destrozada. She was destroyed by the tape. ¿Y ella supo quién lo había grabado? No supimos quién. And, and she knew who recorded the tape? We didn't know who. Let me stop right here. This is the tape. There is an attorney that was representing Yolanda. This attorney went as far as to go to Mexico to a specific bank to figure out if this damn tape exists or not. He's like, let me go check out this tape. He couldn't find it. There is no damn tape. I'm just gonna say there isn't. It okay now. Let me let me let me just say this. If the family, my understanding is Yolanda Saldivar's family has been helping in the investigation now. Okay, they've been helping. They have evidence never before seen: plane tickets, voice recordings. Maybe they have the tape. Who knows? But this is the tape that 
wasn't shown at the court hearing. She didn't even make mention about a tape until the very first interview in 1995. Yeah, if some tape magically appears for this documentary, I'm going to blame it on AI. I'm sorry. I'm just not buying the tape. I'm just not. She said she saw the tape. She was destroyed. She said that she was being forced to, she was being blackmailed by the doctor to leave everything. Could that be potentially it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm also not believing that right k mac all these years later really right right all these years later this is what i'm saying i call bs on this oxygen true crime i I really do i think it's bs i think it's just pandering to a convicted murderer and it's pandering to the salaciousness of what true crime is right it's what it is but please note that yolanda has led reporters to believe for many, many years, she. this is not an exclusive. She has given information out throughout the years to try to tarnish Selena's character. But at the end of the day, whether Selena was having an affair or not, whether she had liposuction, whether she was pregnant, whatever it was, it don't matter. Because nothing would ever justify her murder. Right? Can't change the facts. There's only two people in that room. There were witnesses outside. She went out there and called her a bitch as she was shooting up the gun. Let's say for a minute that it fired accidentally. She had it here. She fired it there. Pointed at her back. Selena never even saw the shot. She saw the gun and she left that room and she named. But when she died, she laid on that floor in that hotel lobby. She gave the room number out and who the perpetrator was. That's what she did. So it don't matter to me. She could have had a gazillion love affairs. Nothing would have justified any of it. Let's keep watching. Esta versión sobre el video me sorprendió muchísimo porque si este video perjudicaba a Selena y lo tuvo en sus manos, en su poder, lo obvio sería que lo hubiese destruido, ¿no? So these reporters are like, this whole videotape thing really surprises me because if she had it in her hands, in her possession, obviously it, sh- it would have destroyed her. No, it wouldn't. Who gives a shit? Kim Kardashian made millions off of a sex tape. Look at where she's at right now. Don't nobody talk about a sex tape anymore. Get out of here. Efectivamente, uh-huh. sería lo lógico. Pero precisamente por estas contradicciones, el doctor Martínez insistió en que ya había llegado la hora de limpiar ¿no? el nombre de Selena. And this is the reporter says, this is why. This is why. I need a short clip. All right, hold up. Um, this is why, reporter says, el doctor Martínez, Dr. Martínez wanted to clarify all of these speculations and allegations. And it was time for him to speak up, he says. Hold up. Um, hold up. Simply Monica, because you need that. You need a clip. You need to clip that for a short rabbit. Monica, hit me up and tell me which one. What do I need to do? Uh, can you stay on topic? Let me kick somebody off. Please don't come over here with the drama over here. Um, I wonder why people want to give her the spotlight to even lie like this after she was murdered. Right, Shamina. Mm, okay. Let's keep watching. Elena, y declarar todos estos secretos que, según él, son solo historias de Yolanda. Yo prefiero que digan que yo tuve una relación de amor con una persona como ella, pero lo que no va a permitir es que digan todas las cochinadas que se han dicho, que se han aprovechado. He says, you know, I would rather people say that I had a love affair with her, but what I'm not going to permit is people saying dirty things about her. Eso, eso es lo que no, 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 no lo voy a permitir. He says, that's what I'm not going to permit. En el último año de la vida de Selena, no solo la vimos triunfar en los escenarios, sino que además su negocio de la ropa iba viento en popa. In the last year of her life, we saw Selena triumph on the stage and her business, her boutique business was very successful. El siguiente paso que Selena quería dar era sacar una línea de perfumes y los contactos aparentemente los tenían en Brasil. 
so the next step that Selena was going to take is take out a line of perfumes and the contacts that she had was in Brazil. Él piensa que por eso Yolanda inventó lo de la fuga. No. This is why this is why she believes that Yolanda made up the whole running away with him. The doctor clarifies, there was never, Selena was never going to run away from me or anything like that, with me or anything like that. We had contacts in Brazil. He explains, he says, you know, I had some contacts in Brazil um, that we can go visit for this perfume line. Para que te, te hagan tu línea de, de perfumes. So that they can create your line of perfumes. Pero bueno, de eso a que había una fuga, no, no, no existió. So therefore, me running away with Selena, Selena running away, that never existed. Como tampoco dice, existió lo del embarazo y el aborto. He says, just voiceover, just like he clarifies, there was never a pregnancy or an abortion. No, 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 no. Inclusive ella llevaba un anticonceptivo de esos de depósito. Los que te ponen. He says, in, you know, she had in a contraceptive, the ones, the, those that you de deposit. Ponen en el brazo. The ones that you deposit on your arm. Los, lo tenía de, no sé, un año por ahí. Que son she had it for about a year or so. De tres años, no sé, una oración mayor. Pero lo que más le indigna es cuando Yolanda habla del video. No sé. So what really bothers him, he says, is, is when Yolanda, this is the voiceover, Yolanda is talking about this video. Las alucinaciones que tiene esta mujer, pero yo te lo puedo asegurar que no, que no existe ningún video ni ninguna tontería que menciona esta, esta mujer. I don't know what this woman is hallucinating, but I can assure you there is no video. Dice que si existiera el video, lo tendría que haber filmado ella, y eso es casi imposible. He says if there was a, a video, Yolanda would have had to have filmed it. And that's nearly impossible. He says, doctor says, listen, I had her under surveillance. I didn't trust her for anything. I never let her in my house. She was never in my house on her own. Que pudo haber puesto una cámara escondida o que tú sabes que eso no es fácil. No. He says, you know, she could have put a camera in there hidden. You know, that's not really easy. Well, back when he was filming this, it wasn't. Nowadays it is. No es fácil hacerlo más que no tienes acceso. Entonces estoy también como todos, como tú y como todos estoy, pues, oye, pues que no enseñe, ¿no? No, no entiendo cuál, cuál tantos años está con ese tema. That's right. He says, you know, with all this, why are we still talking about this? Like, why don't you just show the video? Like, Show it, you know, so many years on this topic. De lo que sí está seguro es de que en las últimas semanas de la vida del artista, quien chantajeó a Selena fue Yolanda Saldívar. He says the voiceover um, gives a narrative that the doctor's saying what he is sure of is that Selena lived under blackmail because of this woman. Dice que fue llenándose de desesperación cuando fue despedida. He says the doctor observed that Yolanda was in such despair um, when she was fired. Danina, no me gusta cómo está actuando esta mujer contigo. Yo, yo creo que ya se está yendo de los límites y yo siento miedo por ti. Entonces, ne he says, uh, Selena, this is what he would say to Selena. I don't like the way this woman is acting and it's starting, I'm starting to feel afraid for you. Necesito que hagas algo y que... La despidas, tú dile que yo me encargo de que me entregue a mí todos los papeles de tuyos que tiene Monterrey y que le dices que, bueno, que por el momento ya no la vas a necesitar. He says, you know, tell her, this is what he told Selena, I want you to fire her. And you tell her, you, you give me all of the paperwork, you tell her to give me all the paperwork from Monterrey and I will deal with that business part and that you no longer need her. You let me handle that, okay? En ese tiempo, el padre de Selena también le había advertido a Yolanda que no se acercara más a su hija. Around this time, voiceover, reporter says around this time, Abraham Quintanilla had also warned Yolanda, don't get close to Selena. El único acceso que ella tenía con Selena era cuando Selena venía a Monterrey. 
pero en ese momento yo también se lo había cerrado, entonces no le quedaba nada, ¿me entiendes? Y al parecer. So he said the only access that Yolanda had to Selena was when Selena would go to Monterrey. But the doctor assures, he says, why had also limited that access for her too. Fue en esa época cuando compró el arma. A Selena le dijo que era para defenderse, pues había recibido amenazas. So, this, it was around the time Yolanda purchased that weapon, the, the gun. But Yolanda had told Selena, it's because I'm receiving death threats. So she went to purchase this gun. Now, keep in mind, if you watch the other videos, you know that she purchased it one time, returned it, and then repurchased it again to kill her. Okay? Fue cuando todavía me percaté más y me dio más miedo no de decir, bueno, a ver, ¿qué pasa? Trae un arma esta mujer también. O sea que, ¿me entiendes? Las cosas fueron poniéndose tal, de tal manera que ya era grave, grave quiero decir, que estaba, ella iba a todas. ¿Por qué la mandó? So then the doctor says, well, this is when things started getting really hairy, really complicated. This woman has a weapon. And, I mean, it's already as serious as it is. She has a weapon. That's when things started going a little crazy, and he's saying that. El doctor Martínez estaba convencido de que Yolanda vivía obsesionada por Selena y que estaba dispuesta a cualquier cosa por no perderla. The doctor voiceover, the reporter says, and this is when the doctor was convinced that Selena was, that Yolanda was obsessed with Selena and that she would do anything not to lose her. Era una persona que todo su universo, su vida, estaba dependiendo directamente de Selena. She was a person, he says, that her whole universe depended on Selena. She didn't have eyes or time for anybody else but Selena. Para Selena. Quiero decir, para Selena que hoy que, que, que le interesaba, que ella, para ella era todo. So I want to say, for Selena, she was interested in, and Selena was everything to Yolanda. Y es eh, lo que muchos se preguntaron después de su muerte, si ya sabían que tenía una pistola, si el doctor sospechaba eh, que podía hacerle daño y si la familia de Selena ya se lo había advertido, ¿cómo entonces Selena se pudo reunir a solas con ella? So this is what the reporters are talking about. It's like, well, wait a minute. If, if this is the piece that's complicated, if Selena knew that she had a weapon, the doctor knew that she had a weapon. So how could have Selena like overlook this part of her meeting by meeting her by herself? No. Se surgieron muchas teorías. Unos aseguran que le tenía una gran confianza, que nunca imaginó que le haría daño, y otros piensan que fue por temor para convencerla de que no hablara. Ya volvemos. So, they say, she, she says, the reporter says, some people believe that it was because Lena trusted that she would never get hurt by her, and others believe that, you know, it was just the relationship that they had. Hold up, I don't want to misinterpret that. Se surgieron muchas teorías. Unos aseguran que le tenía una gran confianza que nunca imaginó que le haría daño y otros... So she had great trust in Yolanda. Piensan que fue por temor mm -hmm. para convencerla. Others believe that Selena had feared for Yolanda. De que no hablara. Ya volvemos. To convince her not to talk. Con mucho más. All right, let me try to skip the commercials. Here we go. En esa época, Abraham Quintanilla sospechaba que Saldívar estaba desfalcando al Club de Miradores y la acusaba de robar dinero del negocio de Selena. So around this time, they give us another timeline. Uh, Abraham Quintanilla felt like Yolanda was stealing money from the business. Se dijo que la razón por la que las dos se reunieron el día del asesinato fue para que le entregara todos los documentos que Selena le exigía. Así es. So the family assures that the reason why Selena met with Yolanda was uh, to get all of the documents that she needed from the bank. También se dijo que Selena había ido al hotel porque Yolanda le había suplicado que la llevara al hospital ya que supuestamente había sido violada y que estaba... And so then they also recollect that Yolanda had told Selena that she had been raped and needed somebody to take her to the hospital. Eh, sangrando en ese momento. Nah, pero estaba mintiendo. Mm. Eh, como se comprobó en el juicio, cuando Selena la llevó al hospital por la mañana, Yolanda se negó a que la revisaran y no le encontraron huellas de violación. Como vamos a ver. El... So she says, well, she, Yolanda was lying because when she went to the hospital with Selena, she refused to get checked and there was no signs of her having ever been raped. El doctor Martínez dice que esta historia ya la conocía y había prevenido a Selena. And the reporter says, doctor Martínez confirms that he already knew the story of rape and he had tried to warn Selena. Todo parecía indicar que el día anterior al fatídico encuentro con Selena en el hotel de Isin, Yolanda Saldívar se había comprometido a entregarle al doctor todos los documentos que le pedían. Le habla a mi secretaria 
para decirle que tenía problemas, que no podía entregarle nada, pero así como un poco histérica, así en shock, y que, este, que la habían, que en ese momento que no iba a ir a mi clínica a llevarlos, que dice que, la, que un coche que la había... All right, one second, let me go back a little bit. This is an important part. Todo parece indicar que el día anterior al fatídico encuentro con Selena en el Hotel Days Inn, Yolanda Saldívar se había comprometido a entregarle al doctor todos los documentos que le pedía. So, the day before, this is a very important detail. The day before the murder, Yolanda had told the doctor that she was going to give him all the paperwork for Selena and the business. They had set up an appointment. There was a commitment to actually meet for that. Bien. Le habla a mi secretaria para decirle que tenía problemas, que no podía entregarle nada. Pero... Yolanda calls the doctor's secretary and tells him that there's a problem. Así como un poco histérica, así en shock y que, este, que la habían, que en ese momento que no iba a ir a mi clínica a llevarlos, que dice que, la, que un coche que la había... So, Yolanda calls the secretary, and she's hysterical and in shock, and tells the, the secretary, I, I, I'm not, I can't go to the office to drop off this paperwork. Um, she was very hysterical on the phone. Cerrado, no sé qué, y que la habían asaltado, y que le habían quitado. She, Yolanda was claiming to have been assaulted. Todo lo, lo que traía, y que la habían violado. She said, He says that Yolanda had told the secretary she was hysterical, she had been raped, they had taken all of her documents, and that, you know, she had been raped, she had been violated. El doctor no le creyó. Cuando yo termino de operar y todo me dice, mi secretaria, le digo nada, comunícame con el jefe de la policía de aquí, etc. The doctor didn't believe Yolanda. So the doctor was in the operating room when all of this was going down. Y le hablo, y se ponen, y me siguen, y resulta que ella había hablado del hotel antes de hacer checkup. So, oh, the, see, this is the piece. Ay, Yolanda, Yolanda, Yolanda. One sec. Let me stop right here. Un coche que la había cerrado, no sé qué, y que la habían asaltado, y que le habían quitado todo lo, lo que traía, y que la habían violado. El doctor no le creyó. Cuando yo termino de operar y todo, me dice, mi secretaria, le digo nada, comunícame con el jefe. So the doctor didn't, didn't believe Yolanda after she was done operating. The secretary told the doctor. The doctor then says, contact me with the chief de la policía de aquí, etcétera, y le hablo. Uh, of the police. Y se ponen y me siguen y resulta que ella había... So the doctor contacts the chief of police in that area and they start investigating and this is what they found out. He hablado del hotel antes de hacer check-out. O sea que estaba haciendo una historia. She had, Yolanda had checked out of that hotel. So she was making up the story of being violated and raped. Esa historia, dice, se la comunicó de inmediato a Selena para alertarla. This is the story that the doctor had tried to communicate and alert Selena about. Tuviera cuidado porque yo no sé hasta dónde podía llegar esta mujer. The doctor tells her, listen, you need to be careful. I don't know how far this woman is going to go. Like, there was concerns. Thank you, Pika. Thank you. Thank you. She says, thanks, Robert, for the translation for us English speaking folks. Love you, Bunny Bunny. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, love. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Mm. It's a lot. It's a lot, right? Details, details. Porque así había sido descubierta por mí. La madrugada. So, the doctor says, I had already uncovered Yolanda's lies. Nada previa al día del crimen, Yolanda le suplicó a su amiga que fuera a verla porque estaba sangrando. The day prior to the crime, Yolanda was begging Selena to come and see her because she was bleeding from this alleged rape. Al día siguiente, Selena la llevó al hospital. The following day, Selena took her to the hospital. Pero ahí sí, lo que sí fue que se dio cuenta, Selena, que la estaba engañando. Porque cuando le iban a revisar, supuestamente ya no tenía nada, ¿verdad? So this is when the doctor speculates. So that's when Selena knew that Yolanda was lying because they took her to the hospital and Selena didn't, you know, Yolanda didn't have anything. She didn't show any signs of rape. Ya no, ya no, ya no quiero, ya no quiero. Entonces, se ve que la fue a dejar al hotel. Y me llamó. Pero él no. So it seems like she had left her at the hotel and then she called me. So Selena drops off Yolanda at the hotel, then calls Dr. Martinez. Now this call is something that I believe, I at least it's captured, that um, was... He testified in court over this. He did talk to Selena before all of this. Pudo contestar la llamada. Well, hold up. He called, um, let me stop. He called, Selena called the doctor's office. They didn't get to talk to each other. 
but Selena was attempting to call the doctor to let her know everything that was going on. Desgraciadamente, mi secretaria le dijo, Selena, está operando el doctor. Cuando acabe, yo le digo, ya no, ya no tarda mucho. The secretary tells Selena, Selena, he's operating right now. When everything ends, you know, finishes, I'll have him call you back. So they never actually get to talk. So let me fix my error of what I said earlier. Esa fue la última llamada que salió del teléfono de Selena. Aunque so that was the last call that Selena uh, came out of her phone. Que han pasado 17 años y han dado decenas de entrevistas todos los involucrados. Nadie ha podido explicar la verdadera razón por la que Selena fue esa mañana al hotel. So nobody's been able to explain, the reporter says, the real reason why Selena went over to the hotel. Yo te puedo contar lo que yo viví nada más. Sus llamadas, su angustia, que qué hacía, la presión que le puso a esta mujer. Ahora. So she says, you know, I could tell you that there was pressure that Yolanda was putting on Selena. There was anguish in Selena. A lot was going on with Selena. Let me stop right here and let me uh, eat more pizzas like poll results. Okay. All right. Let me see because I haven't even checked the poll. Is the doctor Delulu delusional? 90% said yes and 10% said no. Now, you know, you know that the 10%, you know that there's some poll trolls out here. Too much poll trolls. They said no. Listen, I just, it, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop translating now because I've been at it in an hour and I got some other stuff I got to head out and do. But I'm going to finish this. We got a couple minutes. You know, the doctor kind of gets into this last part where he talks about the affair and his feelings. And then they go and interview Chris. If Chris knew about this affair and Chris is like, I don't, I knew about him, but I didn't know. And I don't believe it. Do y'all believe? I mean, clearly 89% is saying, see, now we got some poll trolls. 89% is saying that the doctor's delusional. It, yeah, is 90% delulu and official? <laughs> I don't know. Is the law is the doctor delusional? 89% said yeah. 11% said no. So the 11% is delude. I'm sorry. So it's confirmed Selena didn't know. Yes, Selena did. They did know the doctor. The doctor did some business with the family. He was like in a, a financial advisor for Selena. He was kind of like, so when Selena went to Monterrey, Mexico, because she was doing her crossover, he was kind of the point of reference. But people have said that they was having an affair. The doctor came out and said that that's, that was correct, that they were having an affair. But I don't know. I'm not believing it. I'm just not. The guy is 53 years old with three children. She's 23, beautiful, booked and busy. Like, get out of here. I'm not believing it. I'm not. Chris Paris is nothing but sweetheart. Met him several times. Don't really... Uh, go into too much because I hate Yolanda, but I can't say that I've met him several times. Yeah, I mean, no marriage is perfect. I'm just not believing. I think she was in love with her husband. I I truly believe when when um when she met with her mom and her sister talking about wanting to have a family. I think that was correct. I I feel it though. I don't know, but then again, I don't know. My real life friend's first hubby was a doctor and cheated on her all the time. Mm, I don't know. I think so too. Lies. Selena was too much of a woman for that doctorcito. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hold up. I got some Spanish speakers here. Um, no todos los moderators saben español o otros lenguajes. Por eso están pidiendo solo inglés. Says me. Well, I mean, me. Uh, aquí puedes escribirle en español. Muchos no te van a entender, pero puedes. Completely up to you. Um, Blackmail says, uh, bueno, adiós. No me gusta el límite de la comunicación. No había visto que fuera requisito solo comunicarse en inglés. Besos, Robert. Um, I think you could, you could communicate either or. Just know. I will, Brittany. Necesitas saber que muchos no hablan español. So, si no hablan español, no van a poder comunicarse contigo. Tienes que saber eso. No es de, de faltar de respeto, sino que no, no hay manera de comunicarse cuando uno no sabe. CRISPR, I did read it. I did read your comment, Brittany. Um, I heard that you met him a couple times. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see what y'all are saying. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Translation, rapid capacity to translate is impressive. I try. I try, May. I try. Um, 
Let me see what y'all are saying. Thank you, thank you, blackmail. Thank you, gracias, gracias. Okay, well, I'm going to stop right here. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Are you going to be watching the series tonight? Let me do a poll of that before I head out. Let me see, because we're going to be reviewing it mañana, tomorrow. Will you watch the first episode? Will you watch the first episode? Tonight, I got to find out where to watch it too. You said yes? Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. If anything, he was taking advantage of a young girl nasty. I don't believe him, says Cindy. Um, should be called Yolanda, a journey to a delusional fantasy. You know what is so crazy to me is that if there is nothing that this woman is revealing that is different, then they've platformed somebody who's truly sick. That's really what it is. So you met Chris. He is nothing but a sweetheart. Yes, I read that comment earlier. Thank you, Brittany. You will watch it here? Okay. All right, you're going to watch it? Okay, well, I will see y'all. It's not on Peacock. It's on Oxygen True Crime. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments as we're reviewing this. I don't know. I, see, I don't know if it's international. That's a good point. Hold up. Let me pull up Oxygen True Crime. Um, Hold up. Let's see what's scheduled. Dateline, dateline, dateline. All shows for today. Here it is. For some of you guys, this would be, oh my goodness, is it uh, Ellen Hologram? Welcome to the membership, love. All right, this is what it is. If you are Eastern, it's 8, 8, what, 6, yeah, so if you are Eastern, it's 8, which would be earlier if you are, you know, Pacific Standard Time. All right, this is tonight. We'll be, I'll be reviewing it mañana, okay? Do I have streaming capability? I don't know. I've never streamed before, but that's a great question. On Discord, I know Mel does it all the time. I should have asked. If you need international, you may need a VPN. You can always get a VPN too. That's easier and it could let you, but you got to be careful though, because like if your settings are for local, it could mess up your settings. So keep that in mind. You're going to wait for me? All right. Uh, listen, I'm telling you, I personally, I put my money on this. There is nothing new that's going to be revealed in terms of, whoa, it's going to justify her death. It just, it just won't. It just won't. I just, I don't think so. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, I'll let you guys go. That's as much as I wanted to translate, and I got to edit some of this because clearly there was no sound, and then there was sound, and whatever. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you stay tuned, okay? Rabbits out. Rabbits out.